Voyager to turn its camera back towards Earth. And it's what basically amounts to Earth's first ever selfie. In the vast expanse of time, 14 billion years ago marked the beginning of a cosmic tale shrouded in mystery. What unfolded before that moment remains an enigma, a secret locked away in the depths of the universe. We have ignition and we have liftoff. The initial calculation showed that we were going to be in great danger of getting really fuzzy pictures if we didn't do something to the spacecraft. Fast forward to the present, and we find ourselves on the edge of our seats, gripped by the unfolding saga of Voyager 1. For five decades, this intrepid explorer has ventured into the unknown realms of space, delivering jaw-dropping revelations that defy our imagination. Are we alone in the universe? Yeah. Um, it may be that uh, aliens have searched the universe uh, for other life. A mere speck in the vast cosmic sea, posed for what could only be described as its inaugural selfie. The disbelief echoed until scientists, with meticulous scrutiny, examined the data, unveiling the undeniable truth. The story of Voyager 1 unfolds, painting a narrative of cosmic exploration that keeps us on the edge of revelation, eager to unravel the cosmic secrets that lie beyond. Now Voyager 1 has sent more puzzling information, even validated by the famous scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson. The spacecraft detected 500 celestial objects moving through space. This discovery could change our understanding of space exploration. Let's explore the profound implications of Voyager's latest message and how it might reshape our view of the cosmos. A few decades ago, a remarkable moment in history occurred when two amazing spacecraft set out on a journey into space, marking the beginning of the space exploration era. This happened in 1965 when Gary Flandro, a bright mind at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, faced a big challenge. He needed to figure out the best way for a space probe to reach the distant gas giants in our solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Years ago, and we have no idea what happened before it. And we're still expanding, as we will forever. In the 1980s, these four massive planets would align in a rare celestial dance, creating a unique cosmic opportunity. This alignment meant that a spacecraft passing by each of these planets could use their gravitational pull to gain speed, like being pushed by an invisible force. Flandro's calculations revealed an amazing possibility. What would have been a 30-year journey from Earth to Neptune could now be completed in just 12 years, thanks to these gravity assists. However, there was a catch. This alignment of planets happened only once every 176 years. NASA didn't want to miss this extraordinary chance, so they quickly launched two identical spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, in the summer of 1977. Their mission was to take full advantage of this rare cosmic alignment. Little did they know that these sibling explorers would set records and change the landscape of space missions. Now, more than 45 years since their launch, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are still going strong. They continue to send us groundbreaking data from the far reaches of our solar system every day. Despite their age, these spacecraft are performing exceptionally well. Yet, there's been a recent surprising development. Voyager 1, which is now over 14.5 billion miles away from Earth, has detected 500 unidentified objects as it travels through space. These objects are entirely new and unfamiliar to us, defying our previous expectations. One possible explanation for this unexpected discovery could be the aging components of the spacecraft. Voyager 1 started its journey in 1977, which means its electronic systems are over 45 years old. In normal situations, you might expect such old hardware to show signs of wear and tear or even fail. However, Voyager 1 has been remarkably resilient. This is thanks in part to its dual redundant computer systems, meaning it has two sets of computer components. 
This redundancy ensures that the spacecraft can switch between systems when needed, extending their lifespan. To keep Voyager 1's computer systems running efficiently, engineers have come up with various strategies to conserve and optimize power. The spacecraft is powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs. Maintaining power resources is crucial for the continued success of its mission. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 both use simplified systems with hardwired logic for their instruments. They also feature six onboard computers that work together in a distributed system, providing redundancy and allowing them to withstand the test of time. Voyager 2 has a backup power... On September 5th, 1977, Voyager 1, the identical space probe... ...until 2026. But as the power on the Voyager probes gradually decreases, saving energy becomes crucial, affecting various systems, not just the scientific instruments. One critical system impacted by the dwindling power is the spacecraft's heating mechanism. Generating heat uses a lot of energy, and as power decreases, more heaters may have to be turned off to keep the remaining instruments working. These probes have small thrusters that are crucial for their operation. Properly orienting the spacecraft so their antennas face Earth is vital for receiving and transmitting data. The spacecraft carry a tank of fuel for these thrusters, which adjust the spacecraft's orientation with brief bursts. If the fuel lines freeze, engineers would lose control of the spacecraft and the probes might become inoperative. Furthermore, these thrusters may experience wear and breakdowns over time. In 2017, some of Voyager 1's thrusters had to work harder to stay oriented toward Earth. Engineers solved this by activating secondary thrusters that had been unused for 37 years. Now, the primary thrusters on Voyager 2 are showing signs of wear. So engineers plan to use the backup thrusters on Voyager 2 to ensure continued control. While these backup thrusters haven't been unused as long as Voyager 1's, they've still been idle since Voyager 1's encounter with Neptune in 1989, which is about 30 years of inactivity. NASA believes there are still several more years of operational capability left in these remarkable spacecraft. This extended operational life is crucial because the Voyager probes offer unique insights into the region of space they are currently exploring. Hopefully, the day when the Voyagers are powered down is still a long way off. But when the decision to power down non-essential systems is made, it's not done hastily. It involves a careful assessment of the trade-offs between saving power and achieving the mission's scientific goals. Despite the anomaly causing a slight communication delay, Voyager 1 continued to respond to commands from mission control. The spacecraft's antenna stayed directed towards Earth, ensuring it could receive and execute instructions. Strangely, the anomaly didn't activate the onboard fault protection systems designed to put the spacecraft in a safe mode, which typically happens when irregularities are detected. Voyager 1 continued its mission activities without triggering a protective shutdown, adding complexity to the mystery. After a thorough investigation, the anomaly was traced back to an outdated control subsystem responsible for orienting the spacecraft. This subsystem had been unintentionally transmitting data through a non-functional onboard computer, causing data corruption. The question remained, were there really 500 objects out there? Confirmation of this discovery took time due to the vast distance between Voyager 1 and Earth, causing significant communication delays. The DSN consists of three deep space communication facilities located approximately 120 degrees apart. These facilities are in Goldstone, California's Mojave Desert, Madrid in Spain, and Canberra in Australia. This strategic positioning ensures continuous coverage and observation of spacecraft as the Earth rotates making the DSN the world's largest and most advanced scientific telecommunication system. Operating on the principles of radio wave transmission, the DSN communicates with spacecraft using its enormous antennas. These antennas are responsible for sending and receiving radio waves, creating a vital link between Earth and the distant probes. When transmitting data from the spacecraft to Earth, deep space network, 
channel 18 is typically used, employing frequencies of either 2.3 GIS or 8.4 GIS. Conversely, when sending signals from Earth to Voyager 1, a frequency of 2.1 GIS is used. All of this communication happens at the speed of light. However, even at this remarkable speed, the signal takes about 22 hours to reach the spacecraft. This means that after sending a command, the mission team must patiently wait for 22 hours before receiving any confirmation or response from Voyager 1. This time, delay poses unique challenges for the mission team, requiring precise planning and execution of commands. Any errors or issues can result in additional delays and complications, particularly when investigating anomalies like the one experienced by Voyager 1. The time delay prolongs the diagnostic and troubleshooting processes, demanding careful crafting of commands to account for the expected response time. Therefore, each time a message is received, it adds valuable information rather than being a mere waste of time. Furthermore, the time delay limits real-time control and interaction with Voyager 1. Unlike missions within our solar system where the time delay is relatively small, interstellar distances introduce a substantial lag in communication. This makes it impractical to conduct instantaneous conversations or make swift adjustments based on real-time observations. Regarding anomaly resolution, the mission team ultimately fixed the issue at its source by shutting down the faulty computer within Voyager 1. However, the most intriguing aspect of this situation remains the mysterious cause behind why the Attitude and Articulation Control subsystem, AACS, began routing telemetry data to the incorrect computer. While it is suspected that the AACS received a faulty command from another onboard computer, the exact root cause of this anomaly has yet to be conclusively determined. Possible explanations for the anomaly exist within the vast realm of space. Several plausible explanations for the anomalies encountered during Voyager 1's journey include cosmic radiation, extreme temperature fluctuations, and the potential for micrometeoroid impacts. Cosmic radiation, consisting of high-energy particles originating from distant stars and various celestial sources, fills the vast space between galaxies. Within this particle spectrum are protons and cosmic rays that can penetrate spacecraft structures and potentially disrupt the proper functioning of electronic components. The intense radiation in space can cause electrical disturbances, distort data signals, and even lead to memory errors or data corruption. In the unforgiving realm of space, Voyager's onboard computers navigate potential confusion amidst challenging conditions. Plunged into the outer reaches of our solar system, Voyager 1 endures frigid temperatures plummeting to 200 degrees Celsius. These extremes pose a threat to electronic components, introducing the risk of unexpected behaviors or data transmission errors. Adding to the cosmic challenges, micrometeoroids, despite their seas, We'll pretend we're never going to stop exploring the unknown in air and space. We have ignition and we have liftoff. This emerges from the scientific community, the prospect of extraterrestrial involvement. Could an advanced alien civilization have encountered Voyager, intentionally influencing its trajectory? This idea, though captivating, remains speculative and challenges our current technological and scientific limits. The complexity of Voyager's systems, crafted to endure space's harsh realities, introduces vulnerabilities that prompt the speculation of an otherworldly takeover. However, this notion teeters between scientific reality and fiction. The absence of evidence supporting extraterrestrial civilizations, controlling human-made spacecraft, cautions against embracing this idea. The anomaly in Voyager's transmission initially sparking alien-related theories, found its roots in an outdated control subsystem on the spacecraft itself, not extraterrestrial interference. In the cosmos, where unknowns overshadow the known, Voyager stands as a beacon of human curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. Its solitary journey echoes our collective exploration of the universe, symbolizing the endless mysteries awaiting discovery. 
While the idea of extraterrestrial involvement captivates, it lacks scientific backing. The focus remains on interpreting vo- What do you think is the furthest something man-made has ever traveled? Traveling for 45 years, almost all- Here, Voyager probes triumph as symbols of curiosity and technological achievement. As they venture into uncharted territories, their legacy embodies humanity's quest for knowledge and the mysteries that beckon beyond our celestial boundaries. In conclusion, the Voyager mission captivates, unraveling the cosmos's mysteries. Challenges met with ingenuity and dedication reveal the resilience of human-designed technology in space's harsh environment. Voyager's ongoing odyssey extends an invitation to explore the vast unknown, continuing our journey into the cosmos.